Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 6 of Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Uh, last episode we switched perspectives a little bit, which was incredibly interesting to me because it was done surprisingly well, and funnily enough it ended up making me sympathize with characters that aren't exactly considered main characters in any way, way more than the actual main characters so far. Um, so that was a bit odd, but welcome, I guess. I just hope that eventually I do come to care for the actual main characters as much as I did for this one character, this one episode. Um, but I think that for now, we're going to stick with this character for a while until we finish her little storyline thing. Um, which might end up with her just joining either our main team or having her be the reason that these two other fog members fog ships i guess um if she's gonna be responsible for them kind of defecting and doing their own thing um so yeah with that said let's see what this episode has in store let's get started I think that was sort of inevitable, unless you were some sort of sociopath. I think the last thing happened is uh, they started attacking this place or something. Is this his dying words? Well, there he goes. Died of something. I'm gonna, I assume it's still car injuries. <laughs> friend <laughs> I still think it's ridiculous that the other ship ended up uh, going inside a teddy bear somehow was that really necessary So they know they're there. Not the maids. Put her under your coat, and never find her there.
Seems their negotiations aren't working with her. Oh, she hits them with hexagons. <laughs> Can't beat hexagons. It's not as powerful as cubes, but still pretty strong. Did she know what she was going to do with the with that? Well, there were explosions. Well, I'm pretty sure she figured that out a while back, but She's supposed to be a genius. Hmm. I guess she thought of it as a possibility, but didn't actually want to believe it, I guess. Though you're holding another one right now. <laughs> Well, no, that just means that she has certain preconceptions about the fog that can be corrected in due time if you guys are willing to break the mold. So they still clearly intend to follow through on their info gathering. That's really impressive still. I don't know how you could do worse than that, actually. So it seems to me that the mental models themselves are made with nanomachines. So that explains how they're able to do what they do. It's just all nanomachines. Thanks for the summary. Oh, you have the concept of cruelty, huh? I guess she's used to doing this. <laughs> also like that squeak. Well, that's one way to put her in your coat. Nice. The their combat capability is quite high. Also that just looks not good. <laughs> that looks so weird.
So, in this form, can she still do this kind of stuff? Or is she recovering or healing or something? You know, guys, it's clear that she has a shield and bullets aren't doing anything against that. I don't know why you're still shooting. Are you hoping she has a health bar or something? She got attached to her pretty quickly. No, oh, she already knows why they're there. Again, she's a genius, so it makes sense. So, huh, it wasn't due to misconceptions or preconceptions. She did it because she wanted her not to get involved. How do you design something you don't know what it is? I guess she just knew how it worked and what it did, but not what it was going to be used for. Kind of like the idea of like, I made something that, you know, makes a big boom. But then you find out, wait a minute, you're using that big boom to kill people? What the hell? I assume that's more the line of thinking here. You have a job as a teddy bear to hug her right now. Rock crabs. Well, all right. Wow. She killed her. All right, let's go. <laughs> that actually could have been a better... A better distraction or, or ruse, you know, to pretend to kill her in an explosion or something. And they'll be like, well, she's dead. Can't do anything now. And then just run away with her. Should have just stayed in the bushes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that answers my question. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Wow. Good thing she reacted quickly. How is this so much better than the current show so far? Like, I hope they make things as, as interesting with the main cast as they are here. Like, the, the battles that we're seeing here are also much more interesting than the battles we've seen so far.
That is so cool. <laughs> Oh no, I feel that's a setup for a terrible scene. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Good thing they're not shooting. You could deploy shields at a distance. Is actually tugging at my heartstrings. <laughs> I guess that shield did have health, maybe. Yeah. It does, huh? I would like to see you with your regular body again. So what's going to happen here? I assume there's going to go back around to having to do with the protagonists again by them coming in and saving them, maybe. No? That looked like another fog. Oh? Oh! Okay. Now we finally get to see her do something cool. This is really sweet. I, I like this. This is the best part of the series so far. <laughs> Well, that's happened before. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather not side with the... the people who want to take out a little kid. The rock crabs make for an interesting video game enemy. I guess you can do that gravity thing as well.
Oh, this is adorable. <laughs> Just hug already. <laughs> I guess uh, the teddy bear is being hugged, so I guess there's a little bit of that, but I felt they all needed a hug. Please get your body back. <laughs> I did not realize they had one. Oh, God, I really wish that this story was told chronologically. Well, it would have been so better. Of course it ends there. Well, this is a very good episode. I, I really enjoyed it. So the last episode and this episode together were so far my favorite episodes of the of the series. And if it can keep doing that, then I'm going to have a very good time with this series. Um, so it seems that these two are now... Like, uh, my predictions earlier were a little bit off in the, you know, they're not going to be doing separate things, but they did come together. And that's even better. <laughs> I guess he's collecting fog waifus at this point. <laughs> then anyway, if that stuff keeps happening, then that's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.